Hi everyone, welcome back to Online Classroom Jacob Duo. Today we are going to look at the effects of force. Remember in the previous video, Jacob Duo talks about force and we look at different types of force. And what is a force? A force is the pull or the push that is applied on an object. But force cannot be seen. If you cannot see force, how can you prove that force actually exists? Well, the effects of force can be felt. When a force acts on an object, the force can change the shape, size, or motion of the object that you can clearly observe. Let's look at it one by one. Look at this picture. What do you think is the effects of force? The ping pong ball and also the soccer ball in the beginning is not moving. After you have applied the force, what does it start to do? It starts to move. So the effect of force number one is to move a stationary object. What does stationary mean? Stationary means the object is not moving. So when the object is in a still position, it's in a position that is not moving, if you apply a force, it will start moving. That is one effect of force. Next, how about if the object is already moving? The ping pong ball is already moving and the soccer ball as well. If you apply a force, what might happen? You might even stop it from moving, right? So that is another effect of force, that it will stop a moving object. Next, let us look at these pictures. What do you think is the effect of force here? The effect of force that is shown in these pictures is that it can change the speed of an object that is in motion. What does that mean? If the ping pong ball or the soccer ball is moving towards the right very quickly and you apply a force in the opposite direction, not too strong that it stops or change the ball's direction but enough to slow it down then the speed has changed or if you apply the force in the same direction as the, the movement of the object then the soccer and the ping pong ball will move even faster so another effect of force is that it will change the speed of an object that is already in motion how about this one if the ping pong ball is moving towards the right and you give it a push towards a downward position or the soccer ball here, the ball is flying towards you and you give it a kick, which is a push, what will happen? The direction of the motion will change. The ping pong ball and the soccer ball will change its direction. So here you go, another effect of force, that it will change the direction of motion of an object. Finally, when you are angry, you start pushing and squeezing the ping pong ball and the soccer ball. What happened to the ball? The shape and the size of the object will change. That is one last effect of the force that we are going to look at today. So let's review. What are some of the effects of force that we have covered in this video? First, if the object is not moving, then the force will start moving the object meaning it will move a stationary object. Well, if the object is already moving, there are three possibilities that what force can do. First, it can stop it. Second, it can change the speed of the object that is already in motion. And finally, it can change the direction of the motion of that object. So remember, first point, if the object is not moving, then force can move it. Second, when the object, the object is already moving, there are three possibilities. First, the force can stop it. Second, it can change the speed. Third, it can change the direction of the object that is already moving. There you have four effects of force. And finally, it can change the shape and the size of that object. Any questions? If you have any questions that you would like Jekutio to explain further, please leave them in the comment section. I shall see you in the next video. Bye! If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.